Hello there, doctors and nurses and veterinarian scientists. My name is Jay. I'm one of the expert OET teachers at E2 Language, which is a website where you can prepare for your OET. Okay, in this little lesson, we're going to look at a single reading part B question. Okay, so let's take a look. I'm going to give you two minutes to do this question and then I'm going to show you the answer. Now, what I suggest you do or how I suggest you approach these types of questions is to forget the answer options, okay? Go straight from the question prompt to this here. So the notice informs nursing staff, that's all. Because I want you to read this without the distraction or the influence of the answer options. You want to get a very clear reading of this from beginning to end, okay? You want to understand this text fully. Then after you've read it, you go back to the answer options and select the one which is correct, okay? So that's the plan. You have two minutes starting now. Okay, so let's take a look at this one here. What I'm going to do is read this from beginning to end. First thing you want to look at is the heading, patient teaching and advice medications. So patient teaching and advice regarding medications is an essential part of care, which often involves the nurse, in addition to the pharmacist, doctor, and other members of a multidisciplinary team. If possible, nursing staff should take time to build a rapport with the patient, as well as their significant other, carer or family member, if appropriate. This can be achieved in numerous ways and it is often easier to learn from and ask questions of someone with whom you are comfortable. Given the extent of this learning process, it should start on admission rather than the few days prior to or day of the patient's discharge from hospital. So the notice informs nursing staff of the most appropriate method to bond with a patient. I'm not happy with that. It definitely talks about uh, how, how it's important to bond with a patient, but it doesn't talk about any such method to bond with a patient. So I'm not happy with that one. Let's check C. The notice informs nursing staff that open communication with a patient's family is essential. Well, actually it says if appropriate, or in fact, it says if possible. So I'm not happy with that one either. Let's double check B. The notice informs nursing staff that patient education needs, sorry, that patient education needs to begin immediately. Given the extent of this learning process, it should start on admission or immediately rather than blah, blah, blah. I'm happy with B. If you did select B, 
Wonderful, you've done very well. Put yourself a little smiley face into the comments below. Uh, and also just feel free to add any comments or questions you like about this particular question or reading part B. Cool, okay, let's have a look what else I've got for you, which is an advertisement about our OET mini mock test, which I think, aside from the actual OET test, this is the best mock test on the market. It's done 100% on the computer, including a one-on-one -on -one speaking with one of our expert teachers. You'll also receive writing feedback on the letter that you submit through, and the reading and listening that you do will simulate the real exam. But more importantly, you're going to receive feedback on each of your subtests. Not only that, you'll actually be able to drill down into listening part A, B, C, reading A, B, C, as well as your writing and speaking, and look at the detailed feedback on each of those questions. Okay, so it's a fabulous way to either prepare for the OET if you've never taken it before, or if you have taken OET and been unsuccessful, this is going to give you a very, uh, it's going to show you what you're doing wrong, okay? So you don't do it the next time around. Cool, anyway, check that out at e2language.com. Thanks for watching, my name is Jay.